One of the most interesting small arms we've seen during the fighting in Ukraine is the Vulcan or Malyuk bullpup. Available in 7.62 by 39 and 5.45 by 39, the weapon is built around the action of either an AKM or an AK-74. Most frequently seen in the hands of Ukrainian special forces, the weapon appears to be a well-designed adaptation of the proven AK platform. The development of the weapon reportedly began in 2005, following efforts by Ukraine's state space agency to adapt an AK-74 into a bullpup. The project began in the early 2000s and was known as the VEPA, not to be confused with the Russian line of shotguns. It resulted in a fairly basic, non-ambidextrous conversion, notable for its AR-15 M16 style front sight post. The design and development of the Vulcan was undertaken by a company called Interpro Invest, or IPI. IPI market the weapon under the name Vulcan, brackets Maliuk, as does Ukraine's state export company, Spets Techno Export. The weapon's nickname, Maliuk, translates into English as baby. Unlike conventional rifles, bullpups place the breech and magazine behind the trigger and pistol grip. This has the advantage of creating a more compact package while maintaining a full-length barrel. The weapons are manufactured at the Krasilev Aggregate Plant in western Ukraine. The Krasilev Plant is part of Ukrobromprom, Ukraine's state-owned defence industry enterprise. The plant produces a number of civilian and military products and also produces parts for the Stunga P anti-tank guided missile. In an interview with Ukrainian Defence Review in 2015, IPI's vice CEO said that the prototype had been developed under a contract from Ukraine's security service, the SBU. Following positive feedback from the SBU, elements of the Ukrainian Ministry of Defence became interested in the weapon in around 2008. The Maliuk was publicly unveiled in 2015 and was evaluated by the Ukrainian army in 2016. Ukro Baromprom announced in late 2016 that the weapon had been accepted by the Ukrainian armed forces, stating that it had successfully passed testing. It appears that a relatively small but significant number had been procured by the Ukrainian special forces. The basic design of the weapon changed very little between 2015 and 2019, but some refinements appear to have been made. The most significant external refinement is the removal of the AR-15 M16 type front sight, similar to that seen on the earlier VEPA, and the removal of the fixed rear sight assembly in favour of a full-length top rail. With this change, the latch for the upper assembly appears to have been moved from the side to over the top of the barrel. As the weapon went into production, continued improvements were made. In 2017, the weapon still used an AK-style selector lever, but by 2019, this had been replaced by two smaller selectors on either side of the receiver. The latest version of the Vulcan has a number of new features including an adjustable gas block, which may suggest that the barrel and gas block are now of new manufacture rather than repurposed from old AKs. And there is also a new 5 position adjustable stock design, which gives adjustable length of pull. The 7.62 and 5.45 production rifles appear to be made with a mixture of new and old parts. From images of examples seen in the field, we know that the rifles are made using the barrels, trunnions, bolts, and sections of the original AK pattern rifles receiver. The receiver is cut down, the front sight assembly and rear sight block are removed, and a new gas piston is installed in the bolt carrier. The recoil spring appears to be held captive in the upper receiver. When the upper is detached, the spring and guide rod hangs from the rear of the upper. The weapon can be fired from the left or right shoulder and has ambidextrous controls, with selector levers on both sides at the rear of the receiver. The charging handle is non-reciprocating and can be swapped from left to right. The chassis has a large polymer brass deflector which protects the shooter when the weapon is being fired from the left shoulder. The magazine release is located behind the weapon's trigger and can be operated when firing from either shoulder. The 7.62 and 5.45 rifles feed from standard pattern AK magazines. In addition to the magazine release behind the trigger, there is also a thumb release at the rear of the magazine housing. The 5.56x45mm version does not have this feature. The 5.56 rifle appears to use an AK pattern magazine rather than a Stanak one. The magazine housings are designed to allow the magazines to drop free under their own weight, and the rifle has a push button safety located above the trigger, which can be reached by the user's trigger finger. The non-reciprocating charging handle is attached to a collar which sits around the gas piston system, 
and acts on the bolt assembly without being attached to the piston or bolt carrier itself. This allows it to be positioned ahead of the trigger and pistol grip. An action bar projects back from the trigger into the rifle's receiver to trip the sear. The rifle consists of three major assemblies. The upper, which is a polymer assembly which retains the weapon's mainspring and provides a platform for optics mounting. The barrel and receiver assembly, which consists of the barrel, firing mechanism and magazine housing. And the lower, which is a polymer pistol grip and forend which slides into the receiver assembly. The upper and lower are held in place by a locking lever and cross pin. The Maliuk has a convection system within its stock chassis, which IPI says allows air to flow through the hollow pistol grip and out above the barrel. IPI says this allows the enclosed barrel to cool and claims it extends the barrel life. IPI states the weapon's empty weight as 3.8 kilograms or 8.38 pounds. Its overall length is 712 millimeters or 28 inches and its barrel length is 415 millimeters or 16 inches. The rifle has a rate of fire of 660 rounds per minute in fully automatic and feeds from standard AK and AK74 pattern magazines, while the 5.56 by 45 mm variant feeds from a 5.56 AK pattern magazine rather than a Stanag one. Here's IPI's promo video for the Vulcan in full. Alongside a pair of semi-automatic variants of the rifle, the Maliuk K01 in 7.62x39 and the K02 in 5.56x45, IPI introduced in 2019 the Share Pit or Whisper, designed for operations that require quiet precision work. It has a longer 520mm or 20.4 inch barrel and a longer forend for mounting a bipod. It also has a longer alternate suppressor design and an adjustable length of pull with a butt piece which is able to extend up to 3 inches. The Whisper is chambered in either 7.62x39 or 5.56x45. 
IPI's website does not give a great deal of information on the weapon, but lists its weight as 4 kilograms with an overall length of 850 millimeters. There have been no photos of the Whisper in use as yet. Perhaps the most interesting variant of the Vulcan family is the Rith P, an electronic anti-drone system which uses the Vulcan's bullpup chassis. IPI states that the Rith P has a range of up to 1.5 kilometers and weighs around 5 kilograms. Combat use of the Vulcan appears to have been widespread, with not only members of the Special Operation Forces units seen armed with them, but also troops of the Ukrainian National Guard and even the Territorial Defense Force battalions. Ukrainian SSO or Special Operations Forces units, which have been seen using the rifles, include elements of the 73rd Maritime Special Operations Center, the 3rd and 8th Special Purpose Regiments, as well as the National Police Forces Rapid Operational Response Unit, CORD. Elements of the Ukrainian National Guard, including the 2nd Special Purpose Battalion and the Azov Special Operations Detachment in Mariupol, have also been seen equipped with the rifles. The Maliuk is often seen with a sizable IPI-made suppressor. The barrel is threaded and can also accept an AK-74 style muzzle brake. Photos from in theatre show that the Picatinny top rail is made from metal and is not a polymer moulded part. In terms of accessories along with the top rail, there is also a section of rail at 6 o'clock on the polymer forend which allows the mounting of a front grip and smaller rail sections at 3 and 9 o'clock for the mounting of accessories like lights and lasers. The rifles are most frequently seen in the field with Aimpoint Comp M4s, red dot magnifier optic combinations and occasionally variable power optics. Thanks for watching guys, I hope you found this interesting. This is just a quick rundown on the Ukrainian Vulcan rifle which has been seen quite a lot in imagery from the war. If you enjoyed this video don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe. Sharing the videos with friends really helps the channel. If you enjoy our videos please do consider supporting us via Patreon and we have lots of perks over there to say thank you for your support. Do check out our website www.armorsbench.com where we have full articles accompanying each video. Thanks again for watching, catch you next time.